Will you please state your name? Yes, it's Amber Laura Heard. I didn't say anything. I didn't react. I didn't move or freak out or defend myself or, or say, what are you doing? You're crazy. I just stared at him because I didn't know what else to do. And he slaps me one more time. Hard. I lose my balance. Um, at this point, we're sitting next to each other at the, on the edge of the couch, or I was on the edge of the couch. And I'm all of a sudden realizing that the worst thing has just happened to me that could possibly happen to you. I realized that I, I wish so much he had said he was joking because it didn't hurt, it didn't physically hurt me. I was just sitting there on this, on, on this carpet, looking at the dirty carpet, wondering how I wound up on this carpet and why I was never, why I never noticed that the carpet was so filthy before and I just didn't know what else to do. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to react. I just sat there thinking, how much time do I have to I figure out what I need to do because God, did he just hit me? No, I didn't want to leave him. I didn't want this to be the reality. I didn't want to have the man I was in love with. I know you don't come back from that. You know, I'm not dumb. I, I know you can't hit a woman. I, you can't hit a man. You can't hit anyone. You can't just hit somebody because they, I knew there was no, I knew it was wrong and I knew that I had to leave him. And that's what broke my heart because I didn't want to leave him. I thought if I got up out of that room, I'd leave the best thing that ever happened to me. And I wish I could sit here and say I stood up and I walked out of that house and I drew a line and I stood up for myself. But I was just looking at the dirty carpet trying to will myself to get up, to walk out the door because I knew I needed to and I really slowly I stood up and I remember looking at him in the eye and just looking at him frankly because I didn't know what else to do and before I know it he starts crying and you know like I, I had never seen an adult man cry um, I didn't even see really see my dad cry at my grandma's funeral. You know, it's just, it's weird. How it felt. <laughs> so much. I felt like he recognized me and I recognized him and there was just something there that, that was the love of my life. And he was. He was, but he was also this other thing. He was also this other thing. And that other thing was awful, awful thing that would come out and take over. And it was, you couldn't see the Johnny I loved underneath it. It was this other thing. And no one told him, no one was honest with him. No one, you know, he'd pass out in his own vomit. He'd lose control of his body, his, you know, he'd lose control and everyone would clean up after him. I cleaned up after him. I mean, this man lost control of his bowels and I cleaned up after him. His, his, his security cleaned up after him, changed his pants in front of me. He would pass out in his own sick. You know, and then he'd walk around saying he didn't have a problem until he did, until he couldn't support it anymore and he'd get clean and he'd get sober and then he was this thing again, this thing that made me feel so loved, that made me feel like, <laughs> like my, like my soulmate is, cheesy as that sounds, I just felt like he knew me and I recognized something in him, either some part of my makeup and my background or something that I just got it and I loved him and understood him. It, it just got so 
scary, the other part of him. And in June, I wanted, I wanted to leave him. I wanted to, I didn't want to leave him. I, I wanted to want to leave him. I wanted him to get better. And he expressed to me so many times when he was in that period of getting clean and sober, he would tell me, you saved my life. Baby girl, you saved my life. Everyone else was saying that to me and I believed it. You know, if it, everyone else was saying it, he was saying it, I thought, just like his other friends who had gotten clean and sober and stayed that way, his older friends, these rock stars that he hung out with that had like gotten clean and sober and they had 20, 30 years, something, you know, I thought, and Johnny told me he w would be that person, that he was going to be that person, and I believed it.